relationship with self, relationship with body, and your relationship that you, Soul Rider, and your body have. So the very first intimate relationship that you experience is actually your relationship with the light that flows within you as a divine being of light, Soul Rider. And then your body, its very first intimate relationship is its relationship with its own self. And then the second relationship, intimate relationship we have is the intimate relationship that you, the soul rider, have with your body and your body has with you. And so whenever we're wanting to repattern any of our relationships with anyone in our life, because everyone in our life is an intimate to a certain degree. It could be your partner as your intimate, your friend has, there's a level of intimacy, there's a level of connection. We experience a level of connection with even the person who's checking your groceries out in the grocery store. And so recognize that when you start to shift this dynamic, the way in which you interact and engage, relate, and the way other people relate to you completely shifts. So taking a deep breath in. You, Soul Rider, pulling your energy and awareness into your line of light. Using the exhale to ground and anchor into that inner river. As you hold your energy and awareness in this inner river of light, take a moment to imagine, invite some energetic aspect of you, to run your energy in your loop of light. You have that spark in the heart of source. That spark creates that line of light, travels down through the top of the head, down the front of the spine, out the base chakra, loops back behind you, back up to your spark in the heart of source. And you can run your loop of light through the place that you call home, another planet, if you wish. But just take a moment to see if you can feel, imagine, intend, running your energy, your awareness in your loop of light. And feel into what's the speed that you want to travel in your loop of light, but you're staying in a vertical loop. And you, Soul Rider, are just running your energy in your loop. And as you run your energy in your loop, say to yourself, I feel. And what are all the feelings you feel when you are running your light in your loop? And you might even jot those down. I feel free. I feel clean. I feel pure. I feel light. I feel expansive. I feel powerful. I feel strong. I feel calm. I feel centered. I feel peaceful. I feel clear. How do you feel vertically when you run your light in your loop? And then as you feel into how you feel, just with your imagination station, some energetic part of you, the more you do it, the stronger it gets. When you start to feel into, oh, I feel all these qualities when I'm running my light in my loop, then say to yourself, well, that's how I am in relationship with my light. That's how I feel when I'm in me. And that's you in relationship with self. Nothing in the outer world, just your light. And so as you get that reference point, just anchor that in. It's a beautiful relationship with self, vertical, internal, and direct connection with this light that has these qualities that make you feel a certain way. And then take a moment and say, body to nature spirit. Use your higher self, your energetic fields to feel your divine line that runs through your spine, your spinal cord. And run your energy in your loop of light. And body deva, when you run your energy in your loop of light, and from my perspective, the body deva has a spark in the heart of source that creates a spark that comes down through the top of the head, down the spine, the spinal cord, out the base chakra. Perhaps it runs into the heart of earth. Maybe it doesn't. Everybody, Everybody's body deva is different. May run through another planet that it also might be from. That's part of that galactic roots that we'll be talking about. And it runs that loop all the way back up to its spark. And it goes actually in front. So we have the spark comes down out the base chakra and then loops back up in front and say, body deva, run your light in your loop. And body deva, how do you feel when you run your light in your loop? 
And it may be very similar. It might feel free and clear and calm or powerful or strong or vibrant. And then say, Body Deva, how you feel when you're running your light in your loop is your relationship with self. Hmm, how lovely. And then play with the idea that how you are in relationship with your light, you soul rider, and how your body is in relationship with its light. The two of you now get to be in relationship with each other and reflect that. So however you are with your light enables you to be and witness another person the same way you witness yourself. So you soul rider might witness your body and say, body David, when you are in relationship with your own light, you feel free and you feel connected and you feel calm and you feel lovely. And body Deva is in this place of acceptance of all these lovely, wonderful qualities that flows in its divine line. And the two of you get to start having a relationship, which is a reflection of how you are with you, how your body is with self upon each other. Remember, relationship is a reflection. It's the surface of the mirror. And so start feeling into, well, how am I in relationship with myself? How is my body in relationship with itself? Oh, and how are we in relationship with each other? And so start pondering, what does that feel like? Are you being gentle with yourself in your line of light? Is your body being in a place of self-acceptance with all the qualities that flow in its divine line, really valuing and loving these qualities? And then your body is really gentle and loving with you, and you're really gentle and loving with your body. And then as you start feeling into that dynamic, then recognize that you then start being in relationship with everybody from the reflection of how you are with your body and your body is with you. Another analogy that's a little bit more 3D of this reflection is you, so rider, could imagine being on a horse or on Pegasus or on the back of a dolphin or on the back of a bird. And how do you, so rider, want to be as a rider? Do you want to be calm? Do you want to be centered? Do you want to be present? Do you want to be in control of yourself as a rider? Short answer, yes. And then you get to say, so rider, because the only thing you can really control is how do you want to ride with this form, with this nature spirit? Do you want to be kind and gentle with it? Or do you want to beat it and tell it that it's like horrible and never does enough? No, 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 the body's not going to like that. Of course, he's not going to like that. So start thinking about every single day. If you were a rider, how would you want to be with your horsey, with your bird that you're on the back of, with your dolphin that you're riding? Do you want to just be in like, what you got today? This is your world. This is your land. And let's see what you want to create from a place of surprise and curiosity. So start playing with those concepts when you think about relationship with self, relationship with body, body relationship with you, you with your body. And remember that we draw in intimate relationships in particular that are the reflection of our relationship with our body, our body with ourselves. So if there's not a lot of connection between the soul and the body, almost like you ignore your body, your body might ignore you. You might even think that you are your body and your body might feel really resentful because it's like, the soul rider is not me. Soul riders doesn't even wit witness me. I feel totally ignored. Then that might actually reflect into your relationships where everybody ignores you. And if you've been doing this work for a while and slowly repatterning and reprogramming, just bring in more conscious awareness because the more you are conscious of this beautiful relationship within the more it will reflect in the outer world eventually.